Welcome to online learning. We're working with a new uh, delivery system now which is called Desire to Learn. So if you've been familiar with TLM you'll notice that the interface looks a little bit different. When you enroll in a course you'll be enrolled directly into a Desire to Learn an account. And this is the first page that you will get. So you will need a username which is your student ID. It usually starts with a W number and some letters. You must always remember that and use the uppercase W for that. Then you will receive a default password which you can change after but put in your default password and then hit log in. So once you've logged in you will come to this page which is your home page and if you were taking more than one course you could look here and see the option for the courses that you are enrolled in. In this case there's quite a few for me but I'm going to choose one and from here you will see how your course is laid out. It's quite simple. Um, there's a few menu items here that we should quickly go through. Course Home is going to take you to this site here. Uh, under Resources tab, there could be a few items, depends on your course. There would be the content, of course, would be there. Uh, a calendar, which you probably will find quite useful because there will be uh, places for you to add reminders to yourself and also the instructor might put deadlines there as reminders of uh, de deadlines for projects that are coming up. Um, checklist might be incorporated in some of the courses and it just allows you uh, time to check off all the things that you had to do to complete one unit and just to make sure you've got everything done. The FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions, is something that may or may not be in your course. Um, glossary and links as well. So perhaps your instructor has many YouTube links that they want to share with you and they'd probably put them under links. Under the next uh, icon menu item uh, you'll see it's communication and there could be several things turned on. Again it depends on your course but you may find a blog or chat and the chat is real-time chat so you could be in there in your course and if that's turned on you might talk to a few other uh, your fellow students while you're waiting for um, your instructor to come or just to get ca caught up on things. So you can check the class list, see who's in the class. Uh, most courses are going to have this which is discussions. It was formerly known as the web board so if you're familiar with that it, it's a similar thing but it's built directly into desire to learn. Email Everyone that is a student and faculty and employee of NSCC has an NSCC email address given to them when they register or when they join the college. So that's what we generally use to communicate with students. There might be a case where you are asked to go to a particular group and have group discussions and you might find that under groups. News, um, you'll see there's a news section that uh, you might find something new within your course. Say something was posted by an instructor to say welcome to Unit 2 or welcome to Unit 3 or your assignment's coming up, let's have a discussion. That would be under the news and you'll have to check that each time you come in. The user progress is something that you might find very useful. It helps you keep track of where you've gone and what you've done. So as you move through your modules here and you complete all the activities within the module, you'll see a little check mark here. That that indicates that you've completed that and also your instructor can see what you've completed. Under assessments, there could be several things in your particular course. For assignments that you'll produce, um, right under where the, you have you find the assignment, you'll find a little box. It's kind of gray, and that's what we're referring to as a drop box. Now, to submit your assignments, you can open the file on your computer, click on it, drag and drop it into that box. That's one way of uploading. Or you can actually hit the button and it says upload, so you can do it the traditional way. Either way works. You can check your grades here, um, quizzes and sometimes there actually be rubrics for your courses and you might find it there. Okay, the next icon item is NSCC information. That's general information for all of the college, for all of NSCC, not just online learning. 
and it's useful things that you might come in contact with. One, uh, if you have any special needs, you should visit the Disability Services and Library Services for doing research, and they have lots of great um, resources and also tutorials for you. My NSCC is your personal area to find out information about marks and your course roster. NSCC webmail is what the college uses to communicate with students and you'll receive a free uh, webmail account. Um, portfolio education, you may be talking about that, but anybody that goes through a full program with the college uh, must complete a portfolio, so you can just check that out. If your course has proctored tests, you will uh, have to set up a, a proctor if you're located close to a campus. Um, and this is where you'll find the information. You would um, call the proctoring center, say I want to take a test this time, and you write uh, the test at that particular point. If for some reason you can't come into the any of the NSCC uh, online sites uh, at a campus, then you'll have to arrange for an external proctor and if you click on this link you'll find all the criteria to find a proctor, have it approved by your instructor and uh, then go ahead with that process. Okay, so um, just a few areas up here to take uh, notice of. There's three little graphics up here and you might see that there's a red dot if you come into your course as you go along. Um, if you see a red dot on this one, and you'll see it's message alerts, it means you have a new message. And this one is update alerts. So again, if somebody's put an update, your instructor has put an update to say something important, um, you'll see a little red dot on that to indicate there's something new. Okay, so that's quite uh, a short uh, overview of what the course might look like and how to get into the new system. So. You would have to go into your first unit and check out all the different information about what to do in that unit. And down here you'll see there's a couple of little speech balls. And that's an indication that that's a discussion. And if you uh, use the old system, that would be like a web board discussion. So it's a discussion, but it's held right in here. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you enjoy your course. We'll post some lo links and locations of where you can find help and technical information if you have problems with your course.